Awesome, thank you. In picture, you know, like customer, uh, thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Fresh cup of coffee. Uh, this month, we're here at the Zion Cafe and Hostel here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. The cafe has been open since March 2013, and they just opened the hostel last year. So the whole squad is here to do three things. We are, one, helping out with the cafe and hostel, doing their marketing, helping out cleaning, helping out serving, you know, basic coffee shop stuff. Second group we do is called Bar Ministry, which Chiang Mai has a heavy prostitution culture. We send out the girls to basically just love on the girls where they're at and give them an alternative to selling their bodies. Thirdly, the group that I'm a part of, is we're doing the slum ministry. So basically we just walk out into slums, play with kids, uh, and we're also doing monk check, which is awesome. We go to local monasteries and basically just talk to monks, which is right up my alley. So I'm perfectly okay with that. Aaron and I decided that we are gonna have dessert for breakfast. Because it's Thursday. I like how this team operates. So much. Brooke? Yes. Wow. She's bringing out the chicken Isn't it good? Oh. I haven't had this before. Oh, you're gonna get it, Jason. 8 a.m., 8 a.m. All right, breakfast was fun. Bye, Aaron. I don't know what we're doing next. We're doing something. Being that it's November now, I've decided to shave my facial hair into uh, the infamous Guy Fox for the Guy Fox mask. I've always enjoyed that movie. It's always been one of my favorites. It's a movie both sides of the aisle, both the left and the right political spectrum can get behind. A man may die, but an idea will never die. And that's something I kind of want my life to resemble something both sides of the aisle can look at and say I get what he's talking about I want to live like that whether it be Christian non-Christian liberal conservative I don't know whatever and whatever so for the month of November I'm doing this thing I think I kind of like it I also like roofs I like hanging out on roofs there's something about the roof that just you know closer to the sky Going to the slums. I'm so scared to cross the street here. You have no clue. It is so scary. When you cross the road, you don't hesitate. Hi, it's me. Where's my mention? At Kcrin, follow me. I'm really excited. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been sharing my stuff. You all are so nice. Read Kayla's blog. Yeah, because I write the best blog. I actually and haven't written one yet this month. I was like, I'm like blog constipated. So basically, initiation. There's something about in every hero's journey, you get called. You accept the call. You leave the world behind, everyone kind of thinks you're crazy. And you cross that first threshold into the world of the unknown. Then you have your initiation. Once you hit the initiation, you kind of have trials that puts you to the test. And for me in this first month, I've been broken a couple times, at least spiritually. I'm feeling like I was pressing in for God, wanting something more, wanting more of something. God to speak to me in new ways. And when he came up silent, I felt like it was my fault. So I kept pushing harder and harder and harder until I basically strung myself out and I was tired and done. I broke. I didn't know what else to do. I didn't know where else to go. All my fancy tricks of connecting with God wasn't working. I had to rely in his goodness and just trust in that and focus on that. And this is a whole new plane of existence for me that I have to just trust in him completely and in his goodness, even though I'm not feeling anything around and my thought processes are just muddied and I can't really have any good cognitive understanding, putting everything aside, all the intellectual thought, shelving it all and just trusting him. It's not fun, but it's growing me and it's a test. So hopefully I pass it. Hopefully there's more going on. You know what I mean? A little bit? All right, let's go hang out with some kids. You and I are learning some more lessons this month. Hey. Cop. Walker, what color is this river? Today it's looking a little more black, but some days it's like purple, violet. You don't really know, and there's like, there's bubbles coming up, so there might be something living in there. It's like a nice navy blue today. Navy blue? Okay, in the light, I feel ya. Maybe, maybe black. It was definitely black. All right, Rashida, you're right. It's raining on us now. It is raining. <laughs> we almost got home by time. We're good. We got it. Yeah. Hopefully the sky won't open up between now. 
We just have a 15 minute walk. Yes. So I didn't actually film anything of us playing with the kids. Mm. I wanted to be culturally appropriate. And I wanted to build a relationship first before you split about the camera. If you're bringing a camera, be smart in how you use it. Be nice. So he said. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Look at Walker go. Look at him go. All right, so we're going for a guy's night out. Ethan, you pumped? I'm pumped. Get a little pizza, maybe a little burger. Who knows? After a month and a half, we're starving for American food. My name's Ethan from Lansing, Michigan. Team Valor, M Squad. Having a nice walk here in one of my new favorite cities, Chiang Mai. It's a bit rainy out, but it is what it is. Because you got that, that trick that everyone showed up. And my mouth is watering staring at this menu. Look at all this American food. It's like an American person's dream. It's only been like a month and I already miss steak and hammers. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes later, I'm full and happy. Are you content, Connor? No. Time to go back to the hostel. Like this video if you want us to come back here. We'll come back as many likes as you can. Hi guys.